Welcome to the first Life Hack Advisors book review with Stevie P, special guest, and me, Marcus. Today we're going to discuss the Tao of Abundance. This book right here. All right, Steve. So uh, I don't want any spoilers, but uh, if you think about this book in terms of life hacking and gamification, how would you rate this book on a 100-point scale in terms of strength points, armor, wizardry, life points, and gold? How does it, <laughs> how does it uh, benefit you as a player of the game of life in those areas? First of all, what's gold? <laughs> how um, am I rating it in terms of gold? How would it increase your gold supply or potentially increase it? As uh, okay. somebody playing in the game of life, and you have to have a means of exchange to be able to get by or okay, I, I get, get it. Now. So I'll just say gold first, since we just talked about it. Um, I'd give it a ninety-seven out of a hundred for gold because it's about manifesting abundance mm. into your life. So gold will be one manifestation of abundance, a yeah. physical one in that, but abundance is state of mind in essence so um, strength points these are all going to be pretty high <laughs> okay strength points I'd give it like 90 because it's it incorporates the principles of Taoism so it's strong willed and you're able to flow with any moment so hmm. and master your mind and yourself so you're, you're going to be strong in every sense. And that because translates that. to the physical. Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> and armor points. Armor in terms of what? Defending yourself against manipulation or something yeah, like that? Yeah, I mean, I just, it, it's, a, it's an extension of strength in my mind. I like to think of, you know, if you were a player in a video game, you know, you can usually buy, like, armor yeah. that gives you extra... Yeah, it extra might protection. Make, or make your strength even stronger yeah. or amplifies things yeah. about you. It's going to be similar to strength because of that self-mastery stuff. And the author, Lawrence G. Bolt, really knows how the world works and how economics works as well as how our inner selves work too. So mm -hmm. it's a mastery on every level. So with armor, I'd give it another 90. Yeah. And then wizardry. Probably 85 because it does focus a lot on the economics and less, it still incorporates Taoism, but it's more focused on manifesting abundance and things like that, as opposed to the, to the wizardry aspects, like enhancing psychic abilities or th those kind of <laughs> wizardry type of things. Hmm. But you can apply Taoism to be more... In focus, tune. yeah, and then two, yeah. Right? yeah. It's just that he applies Taoism and the senses of abundance, <clears throat> but it's still high on the wizardry scale, scale compared to most stuff, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, and by life points, it's kind of like if you're a player in the game of life and maybe you're 80% of your life points, is this going to help increase them exponentially? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Like, life points is going to be. It's really, gonna fill your tank. Definitely, really high, like <clears throat> ninety-eight, mm -hmm. something like that. I give it that. Nothing's perfect, but around ninety-eight, it's it's up there because it incorporates the totality of everything. And do you want to uh, reference anything in there before we dive into some other questions? That would be examples. Yeah, I'll, there's a couple sentences I highlighted here that are pretty good. This one is. The separative ego consciousness is the psychological source of poverty, lack, human degradation, competitive hostility, craving, and exploitation. Ego consciousness, you know, dangerous stuff. And the other one that I highlighted here is perhaps the greatest poverty of all is to go through life feeling as though we have never expressed or given what we have come to this earth to give and express. 
Mm. So he incorporates a lot of like life purpose stuff and not being afraid to express your true purpose and live through your passions. Now, this question is more off the cuff, but would you put this book in the league of like the prophet or the four agreements? Is it in that sort of genre or is it how would it be different? It's similar to a lot of that stuff in in how beneficial it is to someone mm -hmm. and like it's widespread implications because you can apply the concepts to anything <clears throat> and also it's it's very um applicable to daily life like you're able to timeless principles yeah timeless principles and the application into your career and working and your relationship with money too so it's like a lot of um, self-help spiritual books, they have these abstract concepts that people actually have a difficult time applying. Mm -hmm. So he takes the abstract concepts and applies them to, quote unquote, the real world. Hmm. So he's actually telling you how to apply those abstract concepts, which differentiates <clears throat> it, in my opinion. Which leads me to one of the questions I had for you. Now, can you read this book based on its writing style? and that applicability of things you can actually apply like cover to cover or do you have to take it in bite-sized chunks like how, would, how have you gone about reading it i've read it pretty slow because it's so dense yeah. <laughs> with information and it covers such a vast array of topics mm. so i just did like one chapter or like a section a day like it's i've been reading this for almost two months probably mm. and just a little chunk at a time because it's that dense like if you read that you can't read this all in a couple of days it would just be information overload it's like the art of war or something yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh um now who if anyone would you not recommend this book for um, if you want to be a victim your whole life, <laughs> I would recommend it for you. <laughs> All right. Um, since uh, you can't judge a book by its cover, how would you rate the cover? On what scale? 100 points. 100 points? Um, want to show it? Just as a... No. Little reference. Um, I'd rate it maybe a fifty-five. Like it's it's simplistic. That's what I like about it. I like the simplicity. Yeah. It incorporates some some nice symbols. I like how the word Dow is written over there. I like that. But it just it's not something that's gonna jump out at you. You know, it doesn't have that captivating image. Oh. Zen and the Art of Making What? Making a Living. Oh. Yeah. But so Lawrence Schiebel, he applies a lot of the Taoist and Zen principles to everyday life. And more Western? Or yeah. Is it, okay. It incorporates the Eastern philosophy into Western life. All right. Now, this one's a little out there, but uh, if uh, the Archons or some other creepy... Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth dimensional creatures captured you and placed you under guarded confinement for an unknown amount of human time. But they said, you can bring five books, Steve. Would this be one of them? First of all, I'd never be captured. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. But, but where, would, where would I be? I don't know, man. They could put you on Saturn or the moon. Huh. Well, if, if the Jedi archives have been like shut down, so true, true, true. If it wasn't on planet Earth, then yeah. no. If it was on planet Earth, then yes, because this is highly applicable to our situation on planet Earth right now. Nice, that makes so, sense. Yeah, but it does have a lot of that timeless stuff too that you can apply anywhere. Hmm. Well, that's all I have. Is there anything else you want to share about the author or the book? or any parting thoughts no but this guy definitely knows what's up i like him lawrence g bolt he's got a lot of quotables in here i highlighted like <laughs> at least something on every page mm. so it's and he's he's pretty eloquent with his writing too
So I, it's enjoyable prose at the same time. Is it easier to get through than uh, the meditations of Marcus Aurelius, which I know you've been working through? Or? Possibly because, yeah. because it, he uses more modern language, so it's more relatable in my situation. Okay. Translating the timeless abstract into the way we speak nice. and doing it well. So yeah, it's, it's a great book, and I highly recommend that. Seriously, everyone should read it. <laughs> it's, well, it's that good. All right. Well, thanks for uh, the review. And if people have any questions or want to suggest some other books, it's info at Life Hack Advisors. And thank you for your time today.